Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do Tekken 7 online gameplay with Panda. Real quick, for every 100 subscriber this channel gets, I'm gonna do a $100 giveaway to one lucky subscriber through PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the like button down below. And remember, any donations, big or small, will help the channel grow. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. All right, everybody. So let's get into Panda's personality real quick. So she's very intelligent. Panda get seems to have an almost human-like empathy. And throughout the process, she's known to be considered to Sayu, uh, very considerate to Sayu when she's upset as well as supportive towards her decisions. She sometimes shows a playful side similar to Sayu. What else it says here? Panda has shown more sinister side <laughs> where she is shown to often reject Kuma, sometimes with a physical violence, <laughs> although she seems uninterested in Kuma. Yeah, poor guy. I would have thought by now eventually he would they would finally be together because when we're gonna get, you know, Panda and Kuma Jr. In Tekken 8 or 9, like, you know, there's always going to be some type of animal in there, so they should hurry up, ship those two together. Uh, it says, it's not interested in Kuma romantically, and she does occasionally think of him. The scene is like, bro, the seven uh, series of games. Come on, girl, parts of those are going to way too long. Okay. So, in Tekken 3, it says here, to protect things um, like she is cared for at the Sayu High School. Uh, to participate in the tournament, Sayu moved, the, moved her to the Mishima Industry College in Japan. Hahachi Mishima taught Panda advanced bear fighting so that she could act as a bodyguard for Sayu during the tournament. Although Kuma is fond of Panda, but she just likes him and keeps her distance. So wait a minute, so Hahachi not only trains Kuma, but now he trained Panda as well. I don't know. That. But it makes sense because they have all the similar same fighting style. Whatever. So it says here in the ending description, honey. Her ending is the same as Puma's with no visible difference. So whatever second three, they both had the same ending. Uh, she rejected them or something like that. So let me see here, second four. After the last tournament, Panda accomplished um, sorry, Panda accompanied um, Sayu back to the mission of high school. Since then, Panda spent Round her days four. training with Sayu. Fight. On some days, she wondered just a little about the whereabouts of Kuma, who disappeared after the tournament. Now hold up. If I remember correctly, Kuma, the original Kuma died. And the Kuma that we see now is technically Kuma's son. That's, that's what I remember. So, also, and also, real quick, it shows that not only can Hachi train Panda, but the Sayu. Okay, so that makes it a little more simple. She does some of Sayu's move as well. But yeah, Kuma died, bro. Like the original Kuma, like he's dead. The, the one we see now is technically his son. So it says here, um,. The whereabouts of Kuma, who disappeared after the tournament. One day, um, two years after the tournament of the, uh, let me see here, two years after the tournament, Sayu mentions the announcement of the King of Islands tournament. Four, after hearing Sayu's concern about the tournament and the Mishima Saigaku, Panda decided to become Sayu's bodyguard once again. In the end of the description, the scene opens with the words. Then Panda invited Sayu out. Panda and Sayu are sitting at the arena. Sayu asks why Panda asked her out. Panda takes out a picture of her, uh, Sayu and Jin, and then points at Jin. <laughs> of course, those two have always been shipped, so, yep, so, like the 9 or 10 or 11, they also gotta have their baby so you could get the new Jin. And the double Jin as well, so that's gonna be crazy. So she's pointing at Jin you know, to let her know that, yeah, we're here for yo, man. <laughs> Sorry, no. So it says here, Sayu then believes that Panda wants to help her find Jin. Panda, however, wants um, Sayu to do it on her own. Since she will be on the, 
uh, will be less of an endangered species list. Upset, Sayu places her face on her knees and mounts her. And a moment later, Sayu stands up and with a new resolve decides that she will go on her own. She hugs Panda and says they will always be best friends. So basically, she went after Jin on her own thanks to the help of Panda. Okay. Okay. Let me see what else I say. So now, in Tekken 5, after the conclusion of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 4, Round Ling Sayu has been feeling the fight. Panda is a long and hard about how she can help Ling Sayu happy. Panda decided that the best approach would be to find Jin Kazu. Panda searches for Jin, but she was unable to find him. One day, Sayu came up to her excited. Panda, I have decided to enter the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5. And I need your help once again. Panda didn't quite understand Sayu's reasoning for entering the tournament, but she decided to help her and then would make her very happy. So, in the ending description, that says to the second five Panda's ending, uh, Panda is now the head of the Mishima Sakatsu. Lee comes to Panda telling uh, Kuma would like to see her, bring her here. She says at uh, her command, he agrees to allow Kuma to enter the office. He proceeds to walk towards her with his arms open to carry to hug Panda. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember. He is also holding a little bit of the ro uh, roses and flowers uh, in one of his other hands. Panda puts her arms out as if she's going to hug him back. But instead, presses the big left button and he makes it in front of her desk. Kuma then falls into a hole screaming, uh, <laughs> screaming, and Panda is now satisfied that he confidently gives her the thumbs up. Okay, so not soon after, Sayu comes in greeting Panda excitedly. Asks Panda how is she did. She quickly approaches her desk and she has been seen as a big blue triangle shaped button, curiously wondering what it does. Panda tries to shake her head as his warning not to, but however, Sayu lets curiosity get the best of her and pushes it anyways. The floor opens and under Panda's and her and her chair are both ejected down into the hole screaming. <laughs> Ling then come, contemplated with what happened to Panda. Lee just gives another thumbs up like, hey. So now in Tekken 6, um, Panda took part of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 5 as Sayu's bodyguard. Panda was relieved to learn that Heihachi Mishima was still alive. But only briefly, her moment of uh, relief passed by quickly due to the ceremony announcement of the King of Iron Fist Tournament 6. Bound by you, Panda finds herself once again propelled into the way. And I says here the ending description in this um, second six. The screen first shows how um, you put it in her index finger and, and thumb on the side of her face. As you can possibly be offended by her actions and looking for a fight, yells at Lily saying, Are you some sort of idiot? And prepares to get in for Lily who is shot. Gets ready as the two engaging cops move on. While they counter block each other, hits are uh, in front of Lily, uh, Lily Sin, Sayu, and Panda are, how do you say, like coming rushing towards them on their way to school. Sayu did not believe that she's going to be late. So Panda reaches by running faster and, <laughs> and has headed to a collision, a collision with Asuka and Lily and her little, literally blown to of the two opposite directions as one mother does, as well as the little. The little then falls next to Asuka, who is also laying on the ground. Anybody who is will get by a bear gun, which one? Uh, the two girls get back up, running after her, suddenly Sayu looks back and sees the girl standing her, and her and Panda in the screen, and Asuka is angry, chasing after Panda and Sayu. <laughs> Uh, man, I didn't get enough time to get to Tekken 7. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you guys on the next update if I do another one with Panda. Alright, take care.